Hello and welcome to another episode here on Cap Tech. Today we're going to look at odd and funny stories from Ottawa, Illinois. Now we are not talking about Ottawa, Canada, but the real Ottawa, Ottawa, Illinois here. Um, I got the idea for this video the other day when I was at the Y and uh, somebody asked me, are you a swimmer? And I, you know, humorously thought I used to be and I won the race. But I cover those kind of moments more in my Strange But True videos. But it did make me want to cover a little more on uh, Ottawa, Illinois, where I was born and raised, although have left for a while and came back, so I have a bit of a unique uh, paradigm to look at some of this stuff with. And as such, I've become a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to tidbits of uh, Ottawa culture, such as the uh, Fish Sticks and Milk uh, video that you can also find on YouTube. Right about now you're saying, but who cares about the culture of Ottawa, Illinois? And I'm saying to you, dude, we are literally the sand capital of the world. And I used to tell people that we were the largest city and the largest county in Illinois, but that's not actually technically true. It would be Bloomington. But we're the largest city in the second largest county in Illinois. And as you can tell, we are an area that needs a biographer or storyteller to describe it, which is why I concentrate on such videos as the Illinois River at Starve Rock, a montage for the tourists, famous people from Illinois, Ottawa, Illinois standing at the crossroads of history, and Ottawa, Illinois, a tourist guide. And the coup de grace, the idiocracy of Illinois, our best decisions lie in front of us. So I thought I'd start out with something recent. Did anybody notice um, that we had some girls arrested for writing boner graffiti on the slide in the park on the west side. I mean, I'll take my girl and put her on a giant pool table up near a bar and play my weenie as a word in Words with Friends Against My Mom, but I don't want my girl to go down the pee-pee slide, for crying out loud. But I promised my fan base this would be a happier Ottawa video, so let's take a break for a word from our sponsors. Has anyone ever noticed Dewey's $3 Herbal Remedies down by the pool hall? Warning, the prices could have changed since I was 14. So what, pray tell, has led our area to become embedded with such oddity? Was it the tur tuberculosis camps? Was it perhaps something to do with the radium Maybe it's just some odd, oddness, some weirdness in the water somewhere around Ottawa. Um, but apparently those two facts are not related because radium's just something that was in the rocks. But okay. But anyway, you'd be hard-pressed to argue that it wasn't a bit of an odd area. I mean, consider the uh, Starve Rock murders. I mean, you don't hear about the Giant City murders or anything. Um, but nevertheless, we're not as weird as Byron, Illinois, the first city to have a turkey testicle festival and they also have that oreo cookie run um where the high school football team runs with an oreo cookie between their cheeks if you know what i mean so we're not the weirdest town but we're we're weird nevertheless and i feel like our story or the story of our past weirdness should be told before we're completely uh gentrified in the area with uh sushi restaurants and uh microbreweries and things like that which i uh greatly appreciate both as a homeowner and a consumer but nevertheless I don't want to hide our uh, our uh, interesting and colorful past so to speak so first let's pick the low-hanging fruit here um, Rudy or the rude dog which I have a, his own video on diving into these has some great Ottawa stories such as when we had an arcade named too much fun and he wore their uh, dog mascot um, outfit on his motorcycle, which the police did not uh, necessarily end up appreciating it. Eventually, he got with a uh, woman whose spouse mysteriously vanished on their honeymoon and was um, able to take owner ownership or leadership of the uh, Zeller Inn here in town, which were a, a fun few years for us. Um, he would... Uh, harass the bands to let him go on stage and do drum solos, which was a, kind of an epic saga. Um, a story way back when with Rudy was when he uh, jogged naked to the high school from uh, my folks' house at a party. They live kind of by the east side park here, and you can see it's no uh, 
no short job with that thing flopping all the way over to the high school. Most of my favorite rude dog stories are boating stories, such as the time we uh, kind of all mooned him earlier in the day and then picked up uh, my folks and children, and then Rudy eventually mooned us back, not knowing they were on the boat, but that's just uh, not his fault, just kind of the, the kind of mayhem that Rudy stumbles into. Uh, a story about Rudy from the Wayback Machine is when he uh, trashed three or four blazers right in a row, right along the same stretch of road. I used to say, why not just, you know, just go a different way, just go around, man. Um, just a very interesting character. I go into more detail in my Strange Stories video, but um, Rudy and I were once at Catlin Park when we were kids, and uh, kind of got uh, examined by the police for camping out, had some playboys and such, and eventually the police uh, let us leave um, after inspecting the van and only finding playboys, and we had some uh, doors that were on top of the van that fell back that we were going to use as wood and fell onto the cop car when we pulled away. Um, just kind of a debacle. Things don't necessarily go smoothly when uh, the Rude Dog and Cap get together. Got interesting characters in town other than him, though. Uh, we have a pirate on the river who I won't mention him because I'm kind of scared of him that is exactly 50% uh, Joe Dirt and exactly 50% Hulk Hogan and um, pretty much talks like Hulk Hogan. Um, but I don't want the uh, pirates to get my own family, so I'm not going to use his name. I don't have a uh, dog to defend against the great Molly Choo Choo. We also have some strange subcultures here, the Spandex Mafia and the uh, Cyclers. So it's not uncommon to see um, old men in spandex just pedaling just as fast as they can through town. Um, other people from other towns might uh, find it disturbing, but... Um, we just get pretty used to it living here. If you want to dive further into this, you'll want to watch a video about my uh, father, an avid biker here in town um, called the Kappelman Curse. But we do have other interesting characters. We had a Lincoln lookalike that sold popcorn at the uh, Washington Park, which is where we keep our Lincoln Douglas statues now. And um, nobody seemed to notice him and ad missed the uh, fact that we're uh, worried about religious uh, pictures in the park and the Jesus Christ is the myth sign and all that types of stuff. Nobody noticed that the ghost of Lincoln might still actually be there. Another large cultural swath of Ottawa is cruising. Um, we like to uh, get in our cars and drive a uh, circle. The greatest cruiser in my generation, I will hide his name by going into Pig Latin, was named Hain Schmalum, who had a Monte Carlo and a pincher claw for a hand, just a, a mythical creature and a legend of cruising. I had another buddy who I wasn't really cool enough to hang out with, really, but he would let me ride in the trunk of his giant Pontiac and call me Rear Admiral, which um, I always appreciated. Um, I was uh, able to drive back in my own cruising days a uh, Cutlass Sierra that was unusually fast and was able to take on a uh, large Chevy Impala that I heard the gearheads talking about at high school for a long time, and I won, but it was so long ago I shouldn't be bragging about it. I remember um, Smells Like Teen Spirit was on the radio when I uh, seized the victory, so it's a long time ago. I know it wasn't, I wasn't the best driver at the time. I remember hitting the uh, side of my folks' garage and caulking back in a headlight. Um, just a kind of a sloppy time, but um, we got through it. Um, Best, uh, best not to let people drive till they're a little older, if you ask me. Um, and then uh, more recently, more contemporary uh, Ottawa saga unfolded at the uh, high school for eighth grade graduation. Been given this bright green shirt by my folks for bicycling and admit that we took a boat to the eighth grade graduation that was at the high school and that I got separated from my wife and her family and then ended up sitting in the special needs section, I guess, um, and yelled, ay, 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 at the graduation, which is very formal, and it was very uh, embarrassing, but I just wanted to prove that the shenanigans of, uh, of the past has not ended between Ottawa and myself. Although I am trying to learn from my mistakes, and have promised that I uh, won't take a boat to the next graduation. I'm not 100% certain when this rebel streak started, but I do remember a Kappel Bash party here in Ottawa when my parents were in Cancun that uh, involved pretty much uh, everybody from uh, various cliques, a uh, keg, a tapper, the whole thing. Uh, things got a little out of control at their house, as you can see here. 
um, but it was a uh, party that really mended the different uh, social circles of uh, high school. I remember there was a uh, police asking if there was a girl over there named Sharon or uh, and uh, Sharon, and we said, do you mean Sharon Peters or Sharon Cox? Anyway, it was um, back in the day when having a party was just having a party. You didn't have to make more out of it than it was. Anyway, as you can see, and you can tell if you were there, this is some uh, valid real footage. And I know you're saying, Josh, but I remember there being uh, poker tables, a slot, you know, slot machines. Oh, yeah. Well, if you pan over, here you go. You see that we uh, had the gambling establishment as well. And now let's take a break from a word from our, our sponsor. So I was in Galena recently and saw this Matthew guy had a haunted pub crawl. So I made a little video about that called Ladies, 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 Captex Guide to Romantic Places. So I thought I'd bring that same business to Ottawa. My dad can cover if I'm out of town. But yeah, I'll, I'll take you on a bar crawl. Just reach out or comment. Just buy my drinks or give me a ride or whatever. It would work here. Anyway, next I wanted to touch on some of Ottawa's uh, boating stories. The river's a large part of Ottawa, and if you're missing it, you don't know what you're missing. Um, the story of Captain Ron, we saw a guy canoeing through town. Poor guy was by himself, had, uh, was going from Wisconsin to Florida, but he stopped in Ottawa on the beach and picked up two Ottawinian guys to come with him because they thought, hey, why not canoe with this guy that's going through town? And that's a true story, and it happened here, and it happened recently. So watch uh, Boating on the Illinois River 101, an introduction for more, uh, more information on that kind of story, as well as 201, the uh, follow-up video. Josh saying this isn't that weird or that odd yet, but I haven't told you yet about my friend, no, not R. Kelly, though it does remind me of him, uh, J-Rock, also known as Rock Hard. Um, so Rock Hard's an interesting cat, the weirdest guy in O-Town, I think. I mean, look at this text. Bear in mind that I've censored some of it. Um, the man had enough real estate back in the day that he helped crash the market maybe a couple days early, drove a Trans Am with the front uh, clip off of it, put a subwoofer on his bicycle, um, had the rear window from his 76 Cutlass on the front of his tracker, Geo Tracker, um, getting stuck in that tracker um, with a girl in a bikini with a bunch of real 4x4s around him. Um, there's just enough material to write a book. I mean, as a bonus fact, he had a transsexual living with him here in town for a year. Um, just a, just a, let's unpack it. Let's, let's dive into to the rock hard stuff a little further. You're saying, Cap, if he's so weird, why do you even hang around with him? Well, one, he's Hooli's nephew, and two, some people once gave me some trouble in high school, and he was outnumbered and smaller than me and an underclassman, and he went and beat him uh, with a log. I mean, it's just uh, crazy stuff. Cap, how weird can the guy be? I mentioned putting his, shall we call it, pubic area that he keeps unkempt in the video. He protested it. And then he sent me this darn picture of the damn thing. My favorite Rockford story from childhood is when uh, we got pulled over for having uh, Playboys and Whiskey and Dungeons and Dragons character sheets because we were trying to use my dad's copy machine and see if adding naked ladies to the... Uh, trying to see if uh, adding naked ladies to the character sheets would change the uh, root of our fantasy playing game any. We were uh, strange kids. Many years later, him and uh, the Rude Dog and I... Um, lost uh, Ditka here, the Weimariner, out on the river somewhere, and we called, and the police had to deliver it um, to us slightly outside of city limits because we knew they would try to arrest us due to into our intoxicated level if we tried to go pick them up. But this is just a day in the life in Ottawa, Illinois. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to make a sequel. Please go over to my uh, Patreon page, Patreon, uh, look for CapTech. Donate some money so I can be uh, rich on my video um, skills. And I'm going to leave you with a montage of the Ottawa area murals with uh, my buddy Clarence Jammin in the background. Later.